Hi everyone! For this lesson, I will talk about how to synthesize heterocycles with a heteroatom, and the main process will involve the crystallization of a dicarbonyl compound with a nucleophilic reagent. As we all know, that the oxygen and the carbon with a polar bond, so the carbon is actually slightly positive and for the oxygen is slightly negative. So the carbon will be an ideal position for the nucleophilic attack from those nucleophiles. So um, this is the overall reaction and I will talk about how uh, the mechanism works. Let's look at the reagent here, which is the ammonia, and I will draw the structure. As we see, there, this is a pair of electrons here. It's going to attack the carbon here. Then the oxygen up, and, and this will be a base, which take this proton, and let's draw back. So it will become... Then, as we see that there is another pair of uh, lone pair electrons here, and it's going to have a second nucleophilic attack for this carbonyl here. Then we can obviously see there is a ring structure forming. One, two, three, four, five. Five atoms will be evolved in a ring. Let's draw it all. Uh, as it was a ring structure. Uh, of course, the base must take the proton here. And it will draw back. And now we can see uh, a very simple ring form here and actually it will undergo the dehydration process as we can see these, these are all um, oxygen here with a negative charge then it will attract definitely attract those protons to come so it will become Now it is the dehydration process. So let's see. Um, um, um but uh, sorry for reminding that there is still a uh, hydrogen here, still a hydrogen here. So you might ask, um, which protons is going to be evolved in this dehydration process since uh, there is a hydrogen, there is a hydrogen, there is a hydrogen. So I will tell you is the is the one, the two here. And this is one pair and from water, this is the another pair. So the final compound will be like this. You might say why? Because this you can see in detail is an aromatic compound, which means it's very very stable. Since there are the localizations of electrons among those unhybridized p orbitals, and I can draw you here. You can see there will be resonance.
You can see the nitrogen need an unhybridized p orbital and this pair of uh, uh, lone pairs in order to join the resonance structure. So actually, indeed, it is sp2 hybridized, which means this pair of uh, uh, electrons on the uh, nitrogen um, will join the resonance and uh, actually uh, those pi electrons. So uh, you can count there is one, two, three, four, five, six. There is six pi electrons evolved according to the Hooke's rule. Four and plus two. When n is equals to one, then we got six. It's exactly six pi electrons here. One, two, three, four, five, six.